Okay, so question three of the plan exam review. We're looking at a kinematics question related to kinematic graphs. So this is a velocity time graph. And we're looking at an object that moves according to this velocity versus time graph. Uh, and it's known that the object is at x equals 250 meters at t equals 12 seconds. And we want to know where the object is located at t equals 0 seconds. So sort of question requires you to sort of work backwards somewhat. But the question is related to kind of the area under the curve. Um, so that's sort of uh, knowing. So the major concept that's been examined here is that do you understand that the displacement of an object is equivalent to the area underneath a VT curve? Um, and that's all. And just write that down here. So delta x. And it's again important that you know it's the delta x and not the position, but the change in the position is equal to area under V versus T curve. You can also do this if you were to determine the slopes, and you can do this in the kinematic equations. It's also because kinematic equations come from uh, some from the area. Some of them come from the area underneath the VT curve, but so it's up to you. But what I might do is divide. And uh, let's just locate here the sort of the peak here occurs at looks like right uh, right between six and eight seconds. So this would be or seven seconds. And I might divide, I didn't draw that too straight, but um, uh, might divide this area up into sort of four different shapes. So start with this sort of um, rectangular shape here, then this triangle here I'll do it in red. I would break this then the Sort of from seven seconds to twelve seconds. I also break it up into a triangle. Um, and this looks like it's, it's this velocity at twelve seconds looks like, looks to be seventeen point five. This is uh, between fifteen and twenty. So we have this area here. And lastly, we would have um, this rectangle here. And straight lines here. So we have four different shapes, uh, geometrical shapes, we can figure out again if you're more comfortable with it, with a trapezoid equation, absolutely go ahead. Um, and sort of breaking it down to sort of uh, triangles and um, rectangles, uh, just to make things a little easier to see where we're going. So I'm going to first determine the delta x of uh, between 0 and 12 seconds. So as I mentioned, I'll start with this rectangle down here. So we've got a, a height of 5 meters per second for 7 seconds. And I'll match the colors to the uh, shading here. Then I've got the area of a rectangle. So about half the base. Base is 7 seconds. No, yep. 7 seconds and the height is from 5 to 25 so that's a height of 20 meters per second so that's the area of the red triangle here half the base times the height plus again another rectangle half the base in this case is from 7 to 12 seconds so that's 5 seconds times the perpendicular height which is from 17.5 to 25 so that's a 7.5 uh, meter per second height, and then we have things. Um, then we have this rectangle with a base of five seconds times a height of seventeen point five. So it's going from zero up to seventeen point five. Okay, so here are four different shapes. So if you work that out in your calculator, this gives you. 211 meters. So it's, they're all positive velocities, so this should lead to a positive displacement uh, over the entire 12 seconds. And then our delta x is equivalent to xf minus xi, so we're trying to solve for xi in this case. So xi will be equal to xf um, minus delta x. So we're looking for the 
initial position where xf represents the position at uh, 12 seconds. I'm trying to find where the initial position was at 0 seconds, because this delta x is representative of the delta, uh, the delta x over the entire 12 seconds. So its final position is 250 meters. And we're subtracting the, the change in that position, 211 meters. So the initial position at time 0 is going to be 39 meters. So if the object were to start, which it does, starts at 39 meters and at t equals 0 seconds, we know it travels 211 meters between 0 and 12, so then it would have to have moved, it would then have to be at 250 meters at 12 seconds, which is what's stated in the question. So 39 meters, choice D is the correct answer.